Hey, how's it going everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Voltage Booster Pro on your GX460. It's a very simple install. It's going to take about two minutes. Check it out. So first, let's get that hood popped. I've been running an AGM battery on this GX460 for about a year, almost a year and a half now. I thought you can just go ahead and just throw it on, throw the battery on. But apparently, AGM batteries charge at a certain voltage or charge at a certain rate different from your regular traditional lead-acid batteries. To maintain the health and the life of the battery, you need to charge at that desired rate. So to help you with that desired voltage, this company, Voltage Booster Pro, has created a product that you just plug and play into your fuse box. And this is going to allow you to control low or high the amount of volts that your AGM battery is receiving. You remove the original fuse that's in there, plug in this one. Forerunners and, and GX460 owners use the A slots for the prongs. So you can see there that those slots that say A, and obviously the other side are the, the prongs that are gonna go into the, into the fuse location. So we know we have the correct model. Recommended tools, tiny baby fingers. I think I can do it. So generally, AGM manufacturers specify a charge voltage around 14.5 volts to 14.8. Let's check first what we're, where we're at with our multimeter. To work, turn this on. As of now, my battery is probably not being fully charged by the current volts that we're receiving to this AGM. Normal battery charge should be around 12.6. At 12.5, they're already discharged a little bit. So, let's see if this is going to help out any bit. With the engine running, make sure this is zeroed out. With the engine running, let's see where we are now. Fourteen point one. For AGMs, the desired voltage should be around 14.5 to 14.8 with the engine on. So let's swap out the fuse and replace it with the Voltage Booster Pro. And let's see what happens to that charge rate. Let's take a look. So with the fuse puller, I see it already. This is the number 19, number 20, 21. And this is a 7.5, a 7.5 fuse. Apparently I don't have the baby fingers that I thought could fit in here. So that's the fuse there. Don't lose this. All we're going to do is place this fuse right into the Booster Pro. Not flush, but it should protrude just a little bit. I really had to get in there. I thought I was pushing hard enough, but my fingers are pretty numb because it's so cold outside. So that's how it's going to sit. And then you're going to replace it in the original slot that it was in. Back into the Alt-S terminal. Down. Just like that. That's fully installed. Right now I have it on the low setting. It's easy enough to just click it to back to high, to low. But when you do that, you want to make sure that you do it only when the engine is off. So let's go ahead and start the truck and let's check where our volts are at now at the battery. So let's measure again. I'm going to see. Earlier we had 14.1. Now we're at, let's make sure we zero these out. 14.1. Now we're at 14.6. So let's set it to high and let's see what we have then. So it's easy as having the car off, flipping the switch ever so gently. Now we're on high. Start the truck and let's test again. On the high setting, we're seeing four. We're seeing 15.1. Take a look at that. 15.1 on the high setting. Now, I don't want it running constantly on the high setting just to be safe. I mean, I know it says the AGMs can be charged at that rate, but I don't want to overdo it. So that's it, guys. It's very simple. Like I said, I'm just going to button everything back up. Literally took me about five minutes. Probably could have taken me a lot shorter if I wasn't recording, but... It's very simple, like I said. 
Um, Voltage Pro Booster, they do include the instructions and they will tell you that they have different agreed upon charge rates. Like, like here it says 14.5 to 14.8 is what you should be seeing is what a, a typical AGM battery would like. So in that case, I don't want to set it to the high to the high function unless I really need to charge up the battery after like a deep cycle use, after a long use like on, uh, at camp or something with the engine off. And um, yeah, I think in the low setting, I should be totally fine because you saw earlier that I was at 14.1 and now with just the booster on the low setting, I'm charging at 14.6. So just in that, just in that bracket and you know, I'm hoping that we're going to like this a lot. So with this plugged in, we should be expecting a, a longer use out of our AGM battery, which is now, like I said, maybe about a year or two old. So we should be able to maintain the life of this battery, retain, uh, maintain the juice of it. So we'll see what the benefits of having this is going to be in the long run. Um, as of, you know, having the battery for as long as I did now, I haven't noticed any hard starts. I haven't noticed it running out of juice on me or anything like that, even with the OEM functioning alternator but like I said with the increased amount of voltage going into the battery we should be seeing better charge rates and prolonging the life of this battery and being able to use the complete deep cycle of the battery the, the intended purpose of the battery which is to be able to go down into the bottoms of its charge cell and be able to come back up with just the charge of your alternator. So down in the description, I'll put a link to the product on their website. I'll keep you guys updated when I can.